18, showing contempt or irreverence toward God or sacred things. Anything sacred? Where we go? Yeah. Blasphemous, non-religious in subject matter, form, or use. Good question. Say that again. I got that in my head. What? Non-religious non -religious. in... In subject matter. In, in, in other words, if you tried to get a subject going with them about a religious matter concerning God, Yahweh, they're totally devoid. Totally void of uh, absolute reprobate mind. And you represent an anathema to them. You are an anathema to them. They actually hate you for bringing up a subject that's not in their head. And if you try to put it in their head, they don't want it in And then they hate you for having Yahweh in your head. Threaten to knock your head off because you have Yahweh in your head. Non-religious in subject matter. In subject matter. Any subject about God. Yahweh. They have no good feeling about it. But maybe we should have studied this a long time ago. But since time has worked the way it has, yes. I can assure you we're on time. Yes. Now you can see why I can't rush through this. We invited some black reporters to come to class tonight. They want to interview all week long on the garbage. They want us to lend credibility to the lies they tell. If they can say, uh, Israel so-and-so said this sentence, then they pile it up with lies. You give them all your time and they don't write nothing you say. You go and go on television with them and talk for an hour and they just show you talking. They do the talking. They show your mouth moving while they do the talking. Why do they do that? They want to show credibility to their life. See, as they deceive the public, they want to show that, see, we talk to them. See, he talking. But this is what he's really about. La 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 la. There you are with your dumb self. He, how he trick you into that position? See, we want to. Uh, he and his brother wrote the lines, and then they'll send another one. Another devil will come up to you and say, uh, "I don't think y'all getting good press. They're not being fair to you. I'd like to write your side." As soon as you fall for it, he do the same thing to you that other devil. So you'd be mad when he say. That sucker come around here, I'll never talk to him again. No problem. They got an infinite number of devils. Yes, sir. <laughs> and they train the new devils in journalist school to be just like these devils. So we have primarily just had no comment. Then they say, well, if you have no comment, it makes the public think you're guilty. You're running from something. That's supposed to pull you out, make you talk. If you notice, I haven't said a word yet. Not me, I wrote what Yahweh told me to write. But I haven't said a word, I haven't given them anything yet. He lies from the bottomless pit. So he can make up lies longer than you can think. <laughs> you will be amazed. After you think this devil has shot his best lie, he'll show you he got a bottomless pit. <laughs> I mean, this, this devil has no limit. He's a father of lies. He, he'll just sit around and just father one. And if he 
can ever get you to answer his lies, he know he got you, he'll stop your work. That's how tricky he is, see? They kept me tied up all week. I wasn't answering directly, but I was watching the TV, and I was listening to them, reading the paper. Look at this devil. Boy, can you believe this? I only did that because I want everybody around me to really experience how wicked this animal is. I don't want you to have any pity about him being something other than what he is. So now that's why I, I concentrated with you so you could see. I already know he's like this. So now after a week and a half, I said, okay, now I'm ready to go ahead and continue to tear his lying kingdom down. <laughs> so now I'm back into my ignore him mode. I'm on my ignore his lies mode. That's the mode I turned on. I turned on the channel called Ignore Channel. And I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm into Yahweh now. I'm just getting to, don't you hear me tonight? I'm really into him. See, people who come to hear my reactions to, to all these lies, everybody want to know my reaction? They're all lies. And he's the father of it. Now let's understand what y'all have to say. That's how I sound. Here's y'all. See, your salvation is not in a lie. That's to distract you. Take your mind off Yahweh. And have your mind on him so he can cause you to grieve. Yes, to persecute means to cause you aggravation, yes. mental anguish. Right. Persecute you at law. His law. Keep you running back and forth to court. Just make up stuff. Write it down. The other devil sitting up as a judge. All the devils together. He said, yeah, right. You be running back and forth all tied up. Energy gone then the work for Yahweh is on hold. Then no, you're not. I'm going to shake you, devils. So if you notice tonight, you know, I only bring up that to show you that the devil can't capture my mind. He's an image maker, and he's in control of an image maker called television. But he can't control my mind. I create images. I'm with the original image maker who can send out strong delusions. That's my man, Yahweh. Yeah. Praise God. You know, why should I sit here and, and get you all upset with a liar? When the, that won't free us. I don't care how much lie you know, it won't set you free. The book tells you what's going to set you free. What's going to set you free? Then what do you need to hear? So what does the devil want to cut off? So you won't be
dick's lying area. <laughs> I mean, it, it's got to be something. I mean, it, <laughs> some Hebrew, and we went over all this stuff, and I just fell out laughing. I, I, I really hold him in this day, and, and, and Yahweh's confounding him and holding him in vision. And I watched, I was just looking into the mind of Yahweh, hold this beast in derision, and I just fell out laughing. I had a good one from in here. I actually find this six ounce brain devil <laughs> amazing. He's amazing. He actually thinks he can do battle with God, the creator of the universe. He really does. He this heathen is in a rage and imagining a bad thing. I can't help but laugh because I know the end from the beginning. Only he could be dismayed, not me. Only he could be confounded, not me. I know the end. So when, you, when we get back to, uh, you know, we're in it now, but it's, when we go further in Revelation chapter 12, you'll understand that he's limited when he has to face me. He has a boundary. He has something that he cannot exceed when it comes to me. Give me some more of that knowledge. Profane. Non-religious in subject matter, form, or use. He, he can use it. His brain is not even formed to deal with it. His nature is not formed to deal with it. Think about that. But I'm creating a use that makes Anybody that's not here in my school really look dumb as they are. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To make you look dumb and feel dumb. Yes, sir. And know you are dumb. In fact, you can be here and don't study and you'll know you're dumb. Yes, sir. It'll make you cry right in here. Because you know you're ignorant. So my children are going to rule over the ignorant. All of these profane slum dwellers who think it's cool to do nothing. While they are living like that, without form or substance, without any subject matter in their head except profanity and profane things, I'm bringing up God. Yeah.
know what Satan is producing. I know what black devils are producing. They're producing people that graduate from high school and cannot spell self. And if they can spell self, they cannot define self. And that is the difference. They have a reverence for Yahweh. Whereas the profane have an irreverence. This great red dragon and those who learn and study under him are irreverent. Yes, They're without substance, form. They're cursed to crawl, their mind crawls around in dirt. They're empty minded, profane and degenerate, evil and wicked, and they like to look like each other. Stupid. And they hate to see us look like this. If they love to see us look like this, they dress like us. See that wicked black devil out there, you long dress wearing mother. You white shirt wearing. And they go on and on. You white sheeted. They hate to see you pure. They don't like to see our women cover up their nakedness. They want to be able to look at your legs. Look at you everything. And when your mind is wicked like theirs, you love to show it. You love that. And while all of you are busy gathering nothing, I'm building and teaching and producing God. Yes, I'm looking at God. Yes, sir. What do you think you're looking at? God. Aren't you looking at God's? Yes. Go get the college graduate and touch him. Go get them. You're have trouble spelling all those words. Pronouncing them. See what I'm putting in their head? Yes. You would think this country would be happy I'm producing. They don't want to come and see that I'm producing this. And black devils hate this. Yes, sir. And this was smarter than other peoples. <laughs> when I turn Yahweh University loose on the world. <laughs> Come on, when I turn them loose on the world, who can sit in a school beside them and compete? No one. So when I say the word science, I know they understand what I'm saying. Spell science and tell me about it. See, I know they are. Science, S-C-I-E-N-C-E. -E. It's defined as an experimentation carried on in order to determine the nature or principle of what is studied. Also, it's a branch of knowledge or study especially one concerned with establishing and systematizing facts, principles, and methods as by experiment, such as the science of music. Science is also defined as knowledge of facts and laws based upon observation and arranged to an orderly system. Now who's gonna tell you that in high school? Who's going to tell you that in college? Tell me they're teaching you things like this in school. Then who's producing tomorrow's ruler? 
Now, although this great dragon, red dragon, the white man, is sitting up as if he's God, let's see here and stay there in the next verse. Uh, then we can turn back. Read. Yet thou shalt be brought down to heaven, to the sides of the pit. Thank you. Yes, Yahweh. That's his destiny. Yes, Yahweh. <laughs> this great dragon, yes. this beast, America and her allies are going to be brought down to heaven. One to be like the most high. But their, their head, their mouth, full of blasphemy. Mentality. All right. Blasphemy. Any word or deed meant to dishonor or revile the being or the work of God. Any act or what? Any word or deed. Any word or work. Word. Any word that they throw at us. Deed is action. Carried out. To stop us. Read it again. Any word or deed meant to dishonor. The purpose of their words and is to dishonor. Those whose mouths are full of blasphemy, the, the, the purpose of their words, the purpose of what's in the newspaper, the purpose of what's on the television, the purpose is meant intentionally, maliciously to defame our character, to libel us, slander us, to dishonor us. And if we didn't learn of Yahweh, then Yahweh's divine mind, he might even have some success among you. If you were to listen to him, he could cause you to separate yourself and return out there where he is and not. But seeing what you see right now and understanding the purpose of his writing, the purpose of his utterance, the purpose of his word, the purpose of his television, when it speaks about Yahweh, he's full of blasphemy so you know his very intent.